What's going on? It's Casey. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, I'm Casey, producer, beat maker, and engineer. I upload videos on how to use Logic Pro, all things music technology, mixing, beat making, mastering, well being, and how to build your brand. So, in this video, I want to talk about DistroKid and some of the cool features that they provide once you sign up with them for them to distribute your music. I want to show you how to create your Spotify artist page, get your blue tick, and also I want to show you a cool feature for when you're releasing your music as well, which I think is a nice little feature to make you stand out from everyone else when you're uploading new music. So I just want to quickly shout out my two new subscribers. Shout out Selena, Lee Singer and El Pronto. Thank you both for subscribing. Much appreciated. Hope you've hit the notification bell as well. well you would have missed this shout out. Some cool comments coming in this week. Favourite this week's coming from Marcus Leonardo. Yeah bro, I like the detailed description breaking down the beat. You can tell you've got a good ear and you're taking what's in the beat. Before you start making beats, you, you listen as a listener. But when you start making beats or even when you start getting into music, you appreciate like the little things that go into making a beat and all the little intricate details that comes with making a beat. So yeah, I appreciate that comment. All right, enough of that, let's dive into this video. So you create some new music and you're undecided on which distribution company to use to release your music. I know there's a lot out there to choose from. It can get a bit overwhelming. So let me make it easy for you. Distro Kid. If you haven't checked out my video already on how to get started in DistroKid, check that video out. I go through the different steps on how to upload your music and get your music onto major streaming platforms. What I like about DistroKid is it's easy and simple to use. So that's why I always recommend DistroKid. The pricing, amazing. Different packages as well that you can choose from. So when you sign up for your first three year, I've got a link in the description, 7% off for your first year when you sign up. Got your music, you're ready to upload, you've decided on DistroKid. Now you're gonna want your Spotify artist page. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's dive into the computer. So what you need to do is claim your profile. Go to artist.spotify.com. Click the get access button. Choose if you're, on a, you're a label or you're an artist. Once you've done that, what profile you wanna claim. So your artist name, mine would be Casey Sounds. It's already set up. Let me show you. So we click get access. Choose if you're an artist manager, an artist or a manager or a label team member. Claim an artist profile, click continue. It's quite straightforward. Put the artist name in that you're trying to claim. So I would put in KC Sounds, you'd put your artist name and to find your artist name, just go into Spotify and copy and paste the URL. So I'm just gonna type in KC Sounds. Then it's gonna go into the page for you to connect your account for your login. It's gonna bring you to the homepage. So what I like about this homepage, it gives you some helpful tips on how to grow as an artist. So if you need help with how to promote your work, work your top producers. So it's a cool little blog for you to check out once you, you're in and claimed your Spotify artist page. At the top, we've got some tabs. So we've got the music tab, tells you what music you've got uploaded. So all the music that you create will be on this page and it gives you the stats, tell you how many listens you've got, how many streams and how well, how well your music's doing. So you've got your releases, your playlists, your upcoming music. And then you've got your audience tab, how many streams and followers and listeners. So you can keep up to date with how well your music is done. Top notch, top notch features, <laughs> top notch. So going to the profile, as you can see, you've got a nice profile page. You can edit your banner, show off all your releases, all your cool artwork and stuff. You've got the about section where you can put a nice little bio. So anyone that comes to your profile page, your Spotify artist page, they can see what you're about, how you got into music, what, what your goals are, if that's the type of stuff that you want to put in your bio. Concerts tab, if you've got any cool gigs coming up, live gigs, Insta gigs. And this is something that you can continue to update every time you create new music. And to top it off, you get a nice verified blue tick. You decided who you're going to release your music with. You know how to get your Spotify artist page, get your verified artist page, your blue tick. Depending on the package that you've used or chosen, you can set a release date. If you've gone for the first option, you won't have the ability to, to choose a release date. But for a couple more pounds, you can. Another cool feature about when you're releasing your music, which I'm gonna be doing from now on, is creating cool little cards so you can post on your Insta or your Facebook or whatever social media you're using. Amazing, because now you don't have to go out there 
and spend more money on trying to find a graphic designer or someone who's going to create some cool promo cards for you to let people know that you've got some new music coming out. So all you got to do is go to more, click promo codes, choose from one of the cool graphics that DistroKid is offering you and then click on it and it will save. Save that to your downloads folder. Once you've downloaded that, you can share it to all your different social media platforms and create a buzz for people to hear about your new music. So let's quickly show you how simple and easy this is. Click more, click promo cards, choose your release. I'm gonna go for not a love song. Generate a promo card. There you're gonna see selection of different promo cards that you can choose from. I'm sure there's something in there for everyone. I'm gonna go for train. So I like the train, train looks cool. Now available. I like that promo card. So on this, this one here, it says now available. On some of the others, it says new release. So all I gotta do now is airdrop that to my phone, post in my Insta stories and just jog people's memories that I've got this song out in case they forgot. So cool, amazing, amazing features. But like I said, go through the different options in the more tab and you can see all the features that DistroKid is offering you. Straightforward, nice and simple, making your life easy. That's what you want. Yeah, DistroKid is definitely, definitely cutting out all the guesswork and making it simple and easy for us to upload and get our music out so we can share what we've created. Hope this video has helped you. Got any comments, just drop a comment below. If there's anything you're unsure of, feel free to hit me up on Insta. DMs are always open, happy to help. If you like this sort of videos, I'm gonna add this one to the playlist so there'll be a group of videos all relating to DistroKid and how to use DistroKid and get the best out of DistroKid. <laughs> and get the best out of what you're paying for. Get the most for what you're paying for. If you like this video at all, hit that like button. If you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell as well so you get notified anytime I put up a new video. As per usual, I appreciate your time.